Hey foodies, welcome back. Today we are making a delicious creamy jerk chicken pasta. So this is kind of like, you know, that Rasta pasta where you have the Alfredo sauce, um, really creamy and cheesy, but that delicious jerk flavor coming through. Let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is just to flatten the chicken breast. I'm using two. So I'm just showing you what I usually do. I put the chicken breast between two pieces of cling wrap or I'll put it in a large Ziploc bag so you can do either of the two and then you can use a clean bottle or a rolling pin or meat mallet just to help flatten the chicken because this is going to make it more even as far as the thickness and that will help it cook more evenly. So just flatten the chicken breast. All right. And then uh, we can get to cook it in the pan and then it will be cooked more evenly. So after doing that to both chicken breasts, I'm just going to season. So I'm putting some olive oil on here and then we're going to be adding some jerk seasoning. That's wet to jerk seasoning and green seasoning. All the details are in the description box below. Okay. I'll also go in with some chicken seasoning. So go with a Caribbean brand though, okay? I like Maggi um, and there are many other, there's Jamaica Valley, many other seasonings. But use your favorite and add some black pepper as well and then rub everything in, all right? Just rub it into every single crevice. I also decided to add some sweet paprika, okay? So that gives it just a little bit of color and some more flavor as well. And then this can be marinated overnight but if you want to do it the same day, try to marinate it for at least an hour. That really helps, okay? So we're going to get a pan and this is over medium heat. The oil is hot and we're just going to cook the chicken breasts on both sides. So you can do about three minutes on each side, okay? Try not to overcook it. Three minutes on each side, I mean three to four is usually good enough. Remember that I flattened the chicken breast, so that really helps. If you did not do that, then you might need to cook your chicken breast a little longer. And once you flip it over, you'll see that beautiful jerk seasoning coming through. Wonderful color. If you don't want to cook this in a pan, you could also grill the chicken breast. Okay. And then once you cook the chicken breast, you'll see the beautiful dark color. Nice. Just set this aside. While the chicken breast rests, then you can cook the pasta. Just follow the instructions on the packaging. I'm cooking some penne pasta. Usually about seven to eight minutes is good, depending on the brand that you're using. So check the instructions and just boil your choice of pasta. So that same pan we used to cook the chicken, we're just gonna add some unsalted butter. I prefer unsalted because then you can control the saltiness of your dish. So unsalted butter, swirl that in. Once it melts, we're going in with some flavor, guys. Some scallion and some bell peppers. That's going to give it beautiful flavor and color. And then some minced garlic as well. You want to cook this for about 30 seconds just to get it nice and fragrant. Get all of those flavors out there. And you want to saute the peppers first okay before you add all the liquid that's going in later now i'm going in with some sweet paprika this is going to give flavor and color we're going in with some green seasoning lots of flavor right there scallion thyme scotch bonnet onion so many good flavors stir these around just for a few seconds and then add some jerk sauce if you don't have jerk sauce, then you can add a little jerk seasoning, okay? But I like the jerk sauce for this step because it's a little smoother for the sauce we're making. And then go in with some chicken broth or vegetable broth. If you can't find any, then you can just mix a bouillon with some hot water or even a ramen uh, chicken packet. The, you know, the seasoning packet that you get, you can mix it with some water. And then we're going to stir in the whipping Cream. I'm using whipping cream because it's very rich and thicker than just plain milk. You could use heavy cream as well. 
However, if you can't find any of those, then you can try evaporated milk. Now we're gonna be seasoning this of course, so we will add some black pepper here and we'll also go in with some of my favorite um, chicken seasoning. You can use your favorite, just make sure it's a Caribbean flavor or you can use seasoned salt if you prefer. Just be careful with that because some of these brands, the seasonings are very salty, okay? So I can see all those bubbles coming up, so I'm gonna start adding the cheese now, guys. So this is my Parmesan cheese. I'm just stirring that in. This was grated at home. I do prefer that versus buying the pre-grated stuff. So just mix that in. Keep stirring so that it can just melt nicely into the sauce. And while you're stirring, just add all the other cheeses, okay? You could use grated yellow cheddar or grated mozzarella, but I have some sliced cheese in the fridge that I need to use up. So I'm gonna go in with some sliced mozzarella and some sliced cheddar and just stir all of these in gradually. Now, the more cheese you add, the thicker and richer the sauce will get. I'll leave all the details in the description. You can add more cheese if you like. Leave the sauce over low heat and then slice up the chicken. You could do cubes, you could dice it, you could cut it in strips, do whatever you prefer, okay? But just cut it up so that you can toss some of it in the pasta or you could serve it on top of the pasta, all right? So the plate that the chicken was resting in, guys, just pour off all that juice into the sauce and taste the sauce to see if you need any added seasoning, okay? Once it's seasoned to perfection, toss in that pasta and just give it a good stir. The starches of the pasta are also gonna add to the thickness of the sauce, so don't go overboard with the cheese trying to make it super thick, okay? It'll be just fine. And then you can just toss in as many pieces of chicken as you like. Guys, this is so flavorful. If you've tried my shrimp rasta pasta, you're definitely gonna love this. And you can add a sprinkle of fresh parsley if you like, and that's it. Absolutely delicious. It's super creamy, but flavorful. And you get that heat as well, which you can control by adding less or more jerk seasoning. It's a really tasty just like this, but you could also slice up the chicken and put it right on top. Absolutely amazing, guys. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I want you to come back and let me know how much you enjoyed this. And before you go, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you soon.